Hey, what's up guys? It's Jay and welcome back to another workout. Today I'm taking you through a full body kettlebell complex slash flow. All you're gonna need for this workout is one kettlebell. I don't want you going too heavy. I don't want you going too light. I want you to pick a weight that's right in the middle that allows you to maintain good technique, allows you to maintain the same pace throughout each round but is very, very challenging. I'm gonna walk you through each portion of this complex slash flow, explaining proper technique. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna walk you through a full live round of the complex so you guys can see exactly how I need you to execute this complex. All right guys, for this kettlebell complex slash flow, I'm demonstrating with a 40 pound kettlebell. Remember, pick a weight that's not too heavy and not too light, but something right in the middle. Something that is gonna allow you to perform each section or each cycle of this complex and each round with good technique. With that being said, you need to choose a weight that's bringing you close to failure as we get close to the fourth and fifth cycle of each round of the complex. So you should be fighting to maintain good technique. You should be out of breath and fatigued at the end of each round or as you're getting close to the end of each round. So if you're going too heavy, you're not gonna be able to maintain good technique. You need to drop that weight down. If you're going too light and you're able to get through these cycles pretty easily, you're not too fatigued, you're going way too light, you need to bump that weight up. So again, find a weight that's right in the middle. I'm gonna break this flow up into three different sections. Section number one, we have the single arm clean back lunge plus press. So we're gonna start off, I want the handle of the kettlebell cutting across the midfoot. We don't want the bell totally underneath the legs. We don't want it too far out in front of the body either. Right about midfoot, we're gonna be in a squat stance. We're gonna hinge at the hips, we're gonna grab the kettlebell towards the inner part of the handle to allow us to smoothly rotate that bell around the wrist and the clean. If we grab more towards the middle and more towards the opposite side, it's gonna be way easier and more conducive to flipping that bell up and over, slamming the forearms. So we hinge at the hips, grab the bell towards the inner part of the handle. From here, I'm gonna stand tall, so I'm explosively stand tall, driving up with the legs, clean that kettlebell as I step back. So I'm gonna clean the kettlebell as I step back into that back lunge and then lower down to the knees resting on the floor. So we're here, clean back lunge, rest the knee on the floor. We're gonna brace the core. We're then gonna shoulder press, pressing all the way up. Make sure we're not arching back. Brace the core, keep the hips neutral. Press all the way up to full extension, lower down slowly with control. Then we're gonna drive up off this front leg driving this knee outward as we stand tall. And then lower the kettlebell back down. Now, if you're having a hard time with that clean and back lunge, listen, it's very, very challenging. It takes a lot of balance, coordination, and stability. I struggle with this at times as well, especially when I'm going pretty heavy. So, do not be ashamed if you need to modify, but let's talk about quickly how to modify this. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this clean and back lunge into two steps. So step number one, power clean. Step number two, step back into that back lunge. Section number two, we have the single arm clean back lunge plus press on the opposite arm. Single arm clean the back lunge, we brace the core, press all the way up, lower down with control, drive up through this front leg, make sure we're driving that knee out to stand tall, lower the bell back down to the ground. In section number three, we grab the bell with both hands and we hit a squat clean to goblet curl. Explosively jump that weight up, goblet squat position, Hit that goblet curl, stand tall, then lower the bell back down to the ground. Now we can modify this the same way that we modified the single arm clean back lunge by breaking it up into two steps. So number one, we're gonna start off with a power clean. So we're explosively jumping this weight up with the lower body as we shrug and pull that weight up into the goblet position. So be explosive, we pause for a second, then hit a goblet squat. Driving the knees out, heels are down, we're then gonna keep tension in the quads and the bottom. We're not just relaxed here in the bottom. Tension in the quads as we fully extend the arms, curl back up, squeeze in the biceps, and then drive through the heel slash midfoot on both legs to stand tall. Now, before you guys even attempt this complex slash flow, I want you guys to make sure that you've mastered each section before putting it all together under load with high intensity. Now, those three sections make for one total cycle. So the way this flow is gonna work, you're gonna perform five total cycles with no rest in between exercises and no rest in between cycles. Once you finish 
five total cycles, you'll then rest 60 to 90 seconds and you'll do six to eight total sets for a nasty full body workout. All right guys, all business from here on out, five total circles. So close. All right, guys. It's <laughs> all right, guys. All business from here on out. Five total cycles. Pay close attention to the technique as well as the pacing and try to mimic this as closely as possible on every single round of this workout. Let's go. One. It's two. It's three. Legs are burning. Four, one more. Here we go. Pause, controlled curl, and done. Hope you guys like that workout. Two rounds, my legs are already blown out. This is a good one. Those legs are gonna be blasted. Let me know how you did in the comments. Now, before you guys go, tap on this video right here. My top 10 kettlebell core exercises for building muscle and building functional strength. Until the next workout, I'll talk to you guys soon.